in our hands, we got clean energy in our hands, we got to make our city green, city needs a cleaner energy plan, we got the neighborhood in our hands. The Pennsylvania Constitution says the people have a right to clean air. If a private company breaks the constitutional law, they need to go to jail. Yes. Uh, SEPTA does not have the right to pollute this neighborhood. And it would be wise to rezone the site even if you fail. Even if you fail, it would be wise to rezone the site. Because if you don't, you lose the trust of your constituents. It might go to court and it might be true or it might not. It might not be. At my house on Mother's Day, my kids made some Mother's Day cards. While I was helping my two-year-old Phoebe, my six-year-old Penny started screaming, Mom, you didn't put my card. What did my six-year-old? Yes, I have three children who have a short walk from the targeted site. So I asked Penny if her brother had put the card intention. I said, do you know what intentional means? Penny looked at me and said, yes. It means on purpose, and he whipped it on purpose. When Whitman put his head down and smiled, I knew he meant it. My little boys understand intentional. Do you think the trustees at SEPTA do too? They have environmentally dangerous power plants they want to put in our neighborhood. Do they just pick up a neighborhood out of a hat, or do they choose a location intentionally? Yeah. The power plant will go in the neighborhood disproportionately affected by poverty. Thus is accidental or was this intentional. Okay. Okay. The power plant will go in the neighborhood of mostly minority citizens. Does the power plant come into a most African American neighborhood through some dumb luck or was this choice intentional? Intentional! Are we a targeted location or are we a targeted population? Targeted population! For this location live in 19. Do they live near Nice Team? No! I can't say for sure, but I bet you they don't. Yeah. Some studies show that this power plant will contaminate our water and pollute our air. In our neighborhood, when one out of every three child suffers from asthma in a country, in a country where health care is expensive or gone, do we really need more dangers to our health? No! We really need to hear more of our children say, I can't breathe. No! So all of us will see all of the admittance from this gas plant that SEPTA, which is an agency funded by both the city, state, and federal government. So there are several ways to stop this. Well, look in your toolbox. Find a tool that's better. They can't. Stop this. City government can hold up the 40 plus million dollars every year that we give SEPTA, and that's one way to stop it. 
without this. So we heard that the SEPTA can somehow pull a permit, but air quality management, which gives permission to pollute, is having a one month comment period. I don't know how they can pull that permit. It's a completely different thing. Once they pull the permit, Lynn, give her the mic. Go back and forth. Let's hear both sides. Thank you. Sure. Uh, it, it, there, listen, if there was a reason, a, a way to stop this, there's no reason that we would want to be out here because again, we don't want to think that. We don't want, what we don't want is a polluted, a polluted neighborhood. And so if there was something that could be done in terms of zoning, it would have been done. As I had stated earlier, zoning, if, they, if, if we introduce a bill to change the zoning, which is what is required, I introduce a bill which is uh, the law to change zoning. It has to go before a committee for a hearing. Once that committee hearing is scheduled, the bill goes, the committee votes on it. After that, after it's voted out of committee, there's a two-week period before the bill can be voted on and voted into law. In that time period, from the moment that I introduced the ordinance, SEPTA has every right to go and pull a construction permit over the counter. Once they pull that permit, it grants, yeah, that is true. If you have other information, please share it. We'd be happy to talk to legal counsel about it, but trust me when I say, we've been over this and over this and over this. If there's an opportunity and a way that we can do something, if you know something that I don't know, please share. But I'm telling you that right now, they have every right to grandfather that zoning once they pull that permit. And so I met city government with an act of city government, city council person in this district, Cindy Bass, can put a bill in council on Thursday, and the other nine district council people will support her bill because that's called council prerogative. We see it over and over again. And for the public good, it's why we give our local government that vehicle, okay? Thank it's an extremely important vehicle. It can be condemned this upcoming Thursday with an act of city council. So realize that Cindy has the ability to do this. That's why we give the ability of our local government that ability because it protects us from these kinds of developments. It's critical. So don't let zoning or the other double talk that comes from our politicians scare you or make you think that there's not something they can do. Cherie Street isn't here for a reason. Okay, he's been approached, he's not here because he's subservient in many ways to the district council person. Just like Dorn is because the district council person can make the biggest difference in a community because they have state and federal funding. The city receives state and federal funding in order to provide us with the justice we want. With the rec centers, with the schools, with all of the other things that make our community healthy. So this is simple, real simple. We want an act of city council. We want Cindy Bass, our district council person, to introduce a law that condemns this property for the public good. That can be done next Thursday. That's it. That's all I have to say. It's very simple. We got the whole neighborhood in our hands. We got the whole neighborhood. In our hands, we got the whole neighborhood. In our hands, we got the neighborhood. In our hands, we got the sun and the wind. In our hands, we got the sun and the wind. In our hands, we got the sun and the wind. In our hands, we got the whole in our hands. We got more electric buses. In our hands, electric buses. Clean, keep it clean, get more electric buses. Keep it clean, get more electric buses. Keep it clean, we got to make our city clean. Use the sun and the wind. Yes, we can. Use the sun and the wind. Yes, we can. Use the sun and the wind. Yes, we can. Philly needs a clean energy plan. Let's say that again. Philly needs a clean energy plan. We got the whole neighborhood. In our hands, we got the whole neighborhood. In our hands, we got the whole neighborhood. In our hands, we got the neighborhood in our hands. Thank you so much, Sandra Rodriguez.
gracias. I'm finding so many different mentalities today. It seems hard. It seems it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. Um, challenge. So so I'm ready. I'm ready for this challenge. And I was built. I was built for this. I think that we all have a purpose in life. And mine's 